This week, equality movements around the globe are celebrating the life story, the message, the legacy of Harvey Milk. We're so proud of you for being here this morning and for making this the second largest gathering for Harvey Milk Day celebration in the nation. Isn't that incredible? Paul, I'll tell you, there is nothing like this going on in San Francisco for Harvey Milk Day. San Francisco has got nothing on you, Coachella Valley. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you for filling up a whole room this early in the morning. Harvey would be impressed. As Senator Boxer said in her welcome, we convene in George's honor this morning. We carry forward the social justice efforts that defined his life, and we do this in his honor and his memory. We do this so no other individuals fall victim to crimes of hate. We must remain determined to change hate, intolerance, and ignorance into love and acceptance. Milk was a visionary who emphasized a positive message of hope for young gay people, hope for a better world, hope for a better tomorrow, hope that it will be all right. Since his assassination, he's given hope to several generations of LGBT, queer, questioning, and supportive youth. We are especially proud of the 234 high school students and their advisors who were in the audience this morning, that after last year's breakfast, we granted $20,428 directly to support programs and activity of the Valley's Gay Straight Alliance Clubs. As the first openly gay elected official in the U.S., he fought for the rights and equality of all, including the elderly, small business owners, the many ethnic communities of his district, as well as the growing gay community. He exhibited exceptional courage, integrity, and valor in these struggles to make our world a better place. And we acknowledge our very own local leaders, elected officials, public law enforcement officers, and representatives who are with us today, in part because Harvey Milk opened the door. They have his energy, they inspire all of us, and they work tirelessly for our communities. They are guided by a timeless vision for a better world. The advisors of the year for 2016 and recipients of $500 honorariums in recognition of tireless support of our LGBTQ youth are Kimberly Ward, advisor at Cathedral City High School, Gay Straight Alliance, and Lisa Todd, advisor at Desert Hot Springs High School, Gay Straight Alliance. I wanted to say when I started teaching 15 years ago, I was told that one of the biggest mistakes I could make in my career was to come out as an openly gay teacher. And guess what, 2016, it was the best decision I ever made, and I'm so thankful that I did. I'm not that scary. And we didn't have an active GA, GSA for a few years until I started working as a counselor there, and good friends with Doug. And Safe Schools has been amazing in supporting us, so I couldn't do it without them and with the, without the amazing kids that we work with. So thank you all for your support. Um, for some people, hope is faith. Hope is being able to go to work in the morning. Hope is art. Hope is friends or family. For me, Hope was named Luke and Vinny. And there are these two people on YouTube who really saved my life. So I had felt alone for so long that I just happened to type LGBT into a search bar, hoping to find some story to make me feel better. And they popped up, and it was just a video of them and their life. They were happy as husbands. They joked. They made fun of each other. And in that moment, I realized that I still had hope. Um, if they were normal and they were happy, then no mom, no dad, no teacher, no counselor was going to stop me from a chance at a happy life. So I didn't used to believe in Harvey Milk's quote. I thought Harvey Milk used to be just another gay man with a dream and an overrated belief in hope. But I can tell you that in that moment, I realized just how wrong I was. You have to give them hope, hope for a better world, hope for a better tomorrow. Harvey Milk was a man who gave hope to a young LGBT generation and continues to do so to this day. 
Dolores Huerta is a woman who gave hope to farm workers, Latinos, and women across the nation, and will continue to do so for the rest of her life and after that. I often forget where I'm standing, and I'd like us all to take a look and realize that we are standing on groundwork laid forth by two amazing activists who have done so much for us and who have sacrificed so much of their time and effort and literally put their lives on the line just so we can have a better life. So I am more than honored to say to both Dolores and to Harvey Milk that you have given me hope, and you continue to give me hope for a better future and for a better tomorrow. Thank you. So it is a great, great pleasure to introduce this year's Harvey B. Milk Leadership Recipient, Senator Mark Leno. With elected officials from across the valley, these extraordinary young people, Enrique and Stevie, you give me hope, and I think you've given hope to everybody in this room this morning. Please join me in welcoming to the stage acclaimed civil rights activist, Dolores Huerta. And thank you very much for giving all the support to the Gay Straight Alliance organizations and the students that are here, because we know that the only way that we're going to be able to uh, eradicate and erase the ignorance that exists in our society, the homophobia, the racism, the sexism in our society, is that we've got to start through education, and hey, we can't wait till high school. We've got to start in pre-kindergarten and the kindergarten level if we're going to erase this cancer, these cancers from our society. Okay, let's go. Si se puede. Let's go. Si se puede. This room in all of its fierceness, raised $15,650. And so you add another $5,000 to that, that's $20,650 to make sure our young people are walking fierce paths. Thank you. To our partners at Safe Schools Desert Cities and all the student table sponsors, the students are joining us from schools throughout the high desert and the Coachella Valley. And a very big special thank you to Tori St. John's, Doug Hairgrove, and Woody Wood for their dedication in organizing and coordinating the students' participation. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be.